Hello, Rinpoche. Thanks for being here. I can't see your face yet, but I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. And please start when you're ready. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Lama Jimba. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Thank you, Rinpoche. Okay, great. Great <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now we'll. Shall we start now? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we will continue discuss the Heart Sutra. Uh, <clears throat> now we're in the. Uh, I have a different uh, version of the paper, so that's why <laughs> in my paper in page number four, but anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I will read this first. Uh, <clears throat> Therefore, Shariputta, since the Bodhisattva have no uh, attainment, they <clears throat> abide, uh, rely on the perfection of wisdom, having no <clears throat> uh, defilements in their mind, uh, they have no fear. And uh, passing completely beyond the error, they reach nirvana. Uh, <clears throat> likewise, uh, all the bodhisattva uh, <clears throat> abiding in the Three times for uh, all Buddha. Right. So, all Buddha uh, abiding the uh, abiding in the three times clearly and completely weaken to uh, an exiled, uh, authentic and uh, complete uh, <coughs> weakening in dependence uh, upon the perfection of wisdom. So <clears throat> those uh, three chapters, I will uh, <clears throat> simply uh, try to explain it. Uh, <clears throat> last time, uh, <clears throat> you know, they, uh, bodhisattvas abiding, rely on the perfection of wisdom to observe that's all the, uh, <clears throat> Uh, phenomena, uh, including the Four Noble Truths. So those are uh, under their meditation. During the meditation, uh, they can to see the, uh, <clears throat> you know, they see the emptiness uh, or they see the uh, <clears throat> inherent nature. So in uh, that's inherent nature, all of them as a uh, emptiness, not really exist there. However, uh, <clears throat> they exist there uh, like uh, uh, as a conventional truth. Uh, <clears throat> because of that, uh, Shariputta says they not, uh, you know, the uh, <clears throat> Bodhisattvas not uh, uh, obtain anything. So um, obtain uh, anything like uh, if we say, uh, <clears throat> you have a disposition. Uh, we, uh, somebody give uh, somebody as a position, like we honored as uh, you have a position. Uh, we say, oh, congratulations, start today. You have a, that's, a, you know, like a director or a teacher or whatever, something. So then that person feel like something they uh, obtained. So uh, <clears throat> then uh, really nothing you can see but you have a disposition. Uh, when you have a disposition, then you say something uh, different. You have a dis responsibilities and that you're taking care of everything. And uh, so after a while, so your <clears throat> turns over, then somebody is taking, then uh, maybe that's, uh, you know, you don't have uh, this kind of feeling. So uh, that's the same thing. Uh, we always think something's there. We uh, attend to everything. Under that meditation, when you observe, 
nothing really attend. So Bodhisattva also uh, <coughs> uh, see that one. And having uh, <coughs> defilement in their minds, <coughs> they have no fear. So uh, that's one we'll discuss a little bit. So <coughs> defilement also we call Uh, obscurations. Obscurations have two kinds of obscurations there. So one is uh, <clears throat> dilutive obscuration to liberation. Uh, <clears throat> the other one is obscuration to uh, uh, omniscience. Um, <clears throat> the first one uh, we're not uh, really liberated from the samsara. Uh, for instance, we have a uh, uh, thought uh, that uh, we can uh, categorize three types of uh, thought, uh, happy or unhappy or the apathy, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's always we have, the all sentient beings have, that's all the animals have, living beings. Human beings, everyone have that one. Uh, <clears throat> that's nothing wrong. That's naturally we have. However, in the samsara, those uh, uh, three thoughts are gonna change. Happy, oh, that's happy. Oh, that person's wonderful. I'm happy with this person. Uh, then easily became uh, attachment. So that person, because of that person is wonderful. I would like to be with uh, him or her. So then. Uh, slowly I have attachment, then that person always have to be my friend, and that person uh, go to somebody else, and then I'm unhappy, and maybe I'm jealous. Even that person go to my, uh, you know, somebody I don't like it, even say enemies, you know, they talk to my enemy, then I will really upset. Why you talk to them? You should be with my friend like that. So that's, uh, in this case, that's, uh, <coughs> happy changed to attachment. Unhappy uh, became a hatred. That's, that's easy. You know, some, sometimes, oh, I don't like it, just to let, leave them alone, that's okay. But uh, you know, usually in our uh, <coughs> uh, situation is different. We don't like this uh, uh, thing. We don't like this person. We try to challenge, try to uh, fight try to, you know, uh, get rid of this. Then uh, even worse are started that way. So that's a hatred. Uh, the, uh, the apathy, uh, it doesn't matter if that's good or bad, just let them go like that. So, but actually that's easily to become an ignorance. So once you have that's a ignorance, so that's, uh, hatred and uh, uh, that's uh, <laughs> attachment based on that uh, ignorance. Ignorance is the, uh, the opposite of the wisdom. So if you have uh, ignorance, you don't have a wisdom. If you have a wisdom, the ignorance will go away. So uh, <clears throat> one uh, ignorance in different forms, like sometimes they don't believe, sometimes they don't uh, care, uh, <clears throat> all of them as uh, ignorance, right? So uh, three, those things, what's wrong with those three things? Because we have those three thoughts, then we always tied in the samsara, we can't deliberate it. So we always run around this area. So that's samsara. Uh, <clears throat> the first uh, <clears throat> abscuration is, you know, to, uh, <clears throat> Uh, the liberation. So if you have that thought, then that's uh, have many of them, but uh, you know, simply uh, they list some of them. For instance, uh, <clears throat> the desire or attachment mentioned before. So hatred, um, then uh, <clears throat> the pride or uh, <clears throat> vanity, uh, like, oh, only me can do, I'm the person, something like that, you know. Uh, then uh, <clears throat> ignorance, 
uh, than an adult. And uh, <coughs> uh, um, that's an incorrect uh, view. So all of them as uh, that's uh, uh, <coughs> obstacles or uh, <coughs> defilements for the liberation. Um, then the <coughs> obscuration to omniscience, <coughs> uh, <coughs> that's the higher level. Uh, <coughs> that's also, a, uh, they divided some of them, but uh, you know, they have a list here. So that's in the, uh, like a Bodhisattva level. Once uh, the Bodhisattva, uh, <coughs> even Arahat, so they have very, uh, <coughs> uh wisdom in a very high level however some of them for instance they said uh, uh four uh causes of uh, uh ignorance they said four causes of ignorance uh they have uh, due to uh <coughs> distant location like uh, that's locations too too far away you can't uh, uh understand like uh, almost like no signal, you can't reach like a smartphone, something like that, you know. So <clears throat> due to uh, uh, distant of time, so the time is past time and present time, and future time, time uh, reference uh, of the objects, you can't understand that. Uh, due to the uh, <clears throat> sight of nature, that's very thin thing, you, you can't, uh, uh, understand like that. Um, then the last one is, uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, they said uh, that's something, uh, um, profundity, profundity of uh, objects. Uh, uh, I don't know, in Tibetan, that the subject taiwa, like very profound, very wide, that's kind of thing you can't understand. So that's in the uh, Bodhisattva level, in, in our not our not level, our in the human level. So that's why very high, very difficult to describe. If you have uh, those kind of uh, obstacles or the uh, defilements, then your mind uh, always with fear. So you don't have uh, those kind of thing, then no fear. So that's why that's having no defilement uh, that's why their mind, so they don't have a fear. Then also passing completely uh, beyond the error. So error also have uh, four kind of uh, errors. So the errors are uh, <coughs> uh, usually something uh, impure, we think is pure. Uh, something, uh, <coughs> you know, our self, selflessness, but we think uh, uh, have self, uh, like uh, ego. Then uh, sometimes the life or whatever the situation is miserable, we think it's happiness. Uh, sometimes uh, life is uh, impermanent, we think it's permanent. That's all uh, our human uh, <coughs> thought. Um, uh, for instance, oh, we're looking for a happiness, right? So the material or whatever, something we're looking for, something to the happiness. When we find them, so supposedly have a happiness, but we never uh, have enough thought. We have more, we want more, then have more uh, <coughs> suffering coming. So uh, impermanent, we always say life is impermanent. Uh, we practice impermanent as well. But in deep, somewhere, we think is permanent. You know, we just stay here forever. Uh, all of them as a <coughs> uh, wrong thought or uh, <coughs> misapprehension. Uh, mis uh, uh, so if you have a death, uh, <coughs> then uh, you can't uh, really uh, reach the nirvana. So bodhisattva, bodhisattva uh, passing completely that's beyond those error, uh, they reach nirvana. Now, <clears throat> uh, all Buddhas practice those three times, 
and put us in the past time and present time and the future time, they will clearly uh, completely working to the uh, <clears throat> annexed, authentic uh, those, uh, <clears throat> practice, then they will have complete weakening in the dependent on the uh, <clears throat> perfection of wisdom. Now we have to go back to uh, <clears throat> uh, that's uh, uh, <clears throat> form is emptiness, emptiness is a form, that's a part. So we can review a little bit. And now, all, you know, the Heart Sutra uh, <clears throat> has lots of uh, uh, teachings kind of uh, hidden. You know, they didn't uh, clearly set. For instance, the Four Noble Truths and Twelve Links of Dependent Origination, and uh, that's, uh, uh, you know, uh, six uh, internal senses, six uh, external senses, and so on. So all of them, they didn't mention the uh, topic but they mentioned those things there. Uh, some of them, even they didn't mention the topic and that uh, thing, but the meaning is the uh, <clears throat> practice. So uh, that's the one important uh, uh, keywords here is the five paths. So five paths they never mentioned, but they, the, the whole Heart Sutra their, their structure or they organize that way. So the five paths. So <clears throat> when you practice the five paths, then you are the Bodhisattva. So uh, then if you're not in uh, <clears throat> five paths yet, so you're not Bodhisattva yet. So how to distinguish one person to a Bodhisattva? So that depends on your mind. You have a, a compassion or not. So talking about the, the compassion, last time we discussed a little bit. Now uh, <clears throat> we'll discuss uh, again. So the compassion uh, basically is a love, uh, unconditional love, unconditional love, uh, limitedless love. So the compassion, how to generate the compassion, two ways to do. Uh, the first one is, uh, <clears throat> equally change oneself to others. So uh, that means like uh, uh, we're always thinking about ourselves first, right? Even we didn't mention that, but we in deep somewhere, you when you check, we're always thinking about ourselves or oh, my, uh, <clears throat> you know, health or my uh, stomach or whatever. I have to stay somewhere or I my, uh, you know, uh, like a shelter or clothes and everything. I'm thinking about me. Uh, then do I think about others? Yes, I do. Sometimes. Uh, like a percentage. Maybe 90% I'm thinking about me, but 10% um, you know, once a while I'm thinking others too. So <clears throat> the Bodhisattva is slowly have to change. Change uh, <clears throat> at the end, 100% think about others, not oneself. So in that case, then you are, you are Bodhisattva. So <clears throat> then another way to practice the uh, compassion or generative compassion, uh, they say uh, the seven fold causes an effect, effect uh, precepts. So that's, uh, uh, you have to think about the, uh, somebody very important to you. So who is that person? Uh, the olden days, the parents are very important, right? So especially in the Asian culture, this, they, Still like that, the parents very important. Of course, the parents is very important. Uh, if we don't have parents, we're not exist here. So that's first of all, that's very important. Afterwards, uh, the parents always taking care of us, right? The mother taking care of you. Oh, when you were very young, then oh, how to give you a good food or taking care of your, you know, like <clears throat> health and everything. You know, then when you grow up, then you have to, uh, they have to send you to a best school. Uh, then 
uh, <clears throat> they give you a, a you know kind of a, a <clears throat> wonderful opportunity to study or play or whatever. Then uh, even grow up, or then still thinking that way. But uh, today in the modern life, it's a little bit changed. So that's uh, uh, ancient time. They think mother is very important. So that's why they made the example. Mother, all Sen Jinping, you have to think about the all Sen Jinping as your mother. Then uh, the seven steps. So if you think mother is important, then you have to uh, <coughs> pay back that uh, uh, benefit. So what you did. Then then you do that, then you have to uh, <coughs> well, uh, willingly, willingly do something for that. So, you know, sometimes we do something for people, we like it. Sometimes if people ask me to do something, I don't like it because that's in my mind that I like this person or not like this person. If I like that, but like this person, then we do something. We think that is a wonderful thing. If we don't like this person, we have to do something that's like a burden, right? So uh, <clears throat> slowly change this mind. So that's why not necessary to be a mother, but uh, you have to think about uh, somebody in important in your life. You think of this person, then you have to compare that person to all sentient beings. All sentient beings just like this person. That's a person, for instance, one, uh, your doctor or your uh, professor or teacher or husband or wife or kids. So very important to you. Then uh, you, how much you, you know, spend time and uh, paying respect to this person. So you have to do for all sentient beings just like for this person. So in that way, you can generate the compassion. So once you have this compassion, then you are in the uh, <coughs> uh, practice this path, the five paths. The first one is <coughs> uh, accumulation, of path of accumulation. Path of accumulation uh, actually, uh, path of accumulation is the, uh, that's all in our uh, <clears throat> practice. So practice, we divided three. In Tibetan called tu, sam, gom. Tu means like a hearing. Sam means like a thinking. Uh, gom, like a meditating, meditation. So three. First, we, you have to listen. You have to listen, you have to study. That's, a, that's not just a lesson, hearing and the studying, all of them in the, uh, the process of the uh, path of accumulation. Uh, you learn something, you learn something, you have to analyze, you have to digest this uh, subject and uh, you learn that one, you do research and uh, something, then slowly you will have an understanding. That's, uh, that's called wisdom. Uh, <clears throat> which is the uh, wisdom uh, from the wisdom from the hearing. Then, then that's, that, that's wisdom develops. After that's developed, then became a wisdom of uh, uh, <coughs> wisdom from the thinking. So uh, that's uh, uh, <coughs> some like thinking, oh, you, when you, uh, hear something, then you study, uh, then you feel, uh, then you experience, and finally you kind of have uh, insight or you understand, oh, I see, that's just like that. So you, when you understand that, then you're in the second level. So pass of, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, pass uh, of preparation, pass of preparation or pass of application. So let's say preparation, prepare something, prepare to do what? Do the uh, next level. Next level is path of seeing. Uh, seeing what? Seeing emptiness. So that is the very important level. So in that level, then the, uh, <clears throat> when you see emptiness, so you are in the nirvana. If you don't see the uh, emptiness yet, we're still in the samsara. So that is the kind of a city limit. 
So we have uh, two cities, right? One Nirvana, one uh, Samsara. We're still in the struggle in the Samsara. When you see the emptiness, when you see the really true nature, uh, like uh, <clears throat> inherent nature. So that's uh, based on the uh, cause and effect. So when you understand that that's, then you see through all of them, then you really see the thing. So <clears throat> you are in the uh, third level. Then after that, so you practice. After that, you practice. Then you are in the uh, fourth level. Uh, that is the path of uh, uh, <clears throat> path of meditation. Path of meditation. Uh, <clears throat> Because of that meditation, this words, then you think, oh, maybe in the path of meditation, you do more meditation, maybe just to relax and every day do meditation. Not really. So that's meditation means like uh, in English, you say that's right. That's really good. I meditate on something. You might say, oh, okay, I meditate on it. So that means like you're focusing on something. You're concentrated on this project or subject. So that's meditation. In other words, is familiarization. So you're getting used to it. You really uh, knew this thing. So for instance, driving car. If I'm trying to learn a car, then you, I have to pay lots of attention. I can't drive, sorry. So that's why, you know, I have to, you know, listen to the uh, instructor. Then I have to take care of everything. I check those uh, lights and everything. When you drive, like you, you have uh, that experience for uh, 20 years or 30 years, then you getting used to it. When you drive, that's, those things are automatically, you know, you don't need to, oh, now you do that, do that. You don't need to do that. So you automatically knew everything. So that's a kind of uh, thing in uh, that's a uh, uh, path of meditation. Path of meditation, Bodhisattva already knew everything. They're familiar with everything. So then they just uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, <clears throat> then the last one is the path of uh, uh, <clears throat> no more to learning or path of uh, consummation. So the completion, right? So in this uh, path, so Bodhisattva, nothing to learn. Now just uh, uh, <clears throat> relax. No, the Bodhisattva means you have to go. Uh, you have to go through this path you already done. Now you're in the that's a uh, <clears throat> full, fully uh, kind of uh, you know duty you have. So you just uh, start do. That's fine. So when we go back and check, that the form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. In this level, because Bodhisattva already have that uh, uh, compassion, then you see the uh, <coughs> four, uh, five uh, aggregates, that's all as a form, form as an emptiness, emptiness as another than uh, form, form is uh, also not uh, other than uh, emptiness. You saw this one, then you really understand, right? So then you practice more, uh, then you will <coughs> see the uh, the you know the emptiness, the quality of that one. So that's in this part. You know, uh, in this way, Shariputta, all things are, are uh, emptiness. Uh, there are without uh, defining characteristics. Uh, <coughs> they are not born. Uh, they are not the uh, uh, seeds. Uh, they are not the uh, defiled, they're not uh, undefiled. Uh, they having no increase, they having no decrease. So that's the last time we had this discussion as well. But uh, you know, when you really understand that's emptiness, that's true nature. So <clears throat> sometimes they do change, they change, the, right? Even the flower or something, the winter time, nothing, uh, the spring, the coming up, then the flower, after flower and fruits and everything they have. Why they say not uh, increase and decrease. If uh, without that uh, cause and effect, they can't change. Uh, without that condition, you can't change. So that's why the all 
uh, the whole thing uh, depends on two things. They call dependent arising or existing in the reliances, okay, uh, relative existence. So that's a compares. So sometimes you say, oh, oh, that's the thing. Uh, let's say sky, okay. That's the sky is very uh, like uh, infinity, right? So where's uh, that sky? You can't. So that's uh, just the uh, relative existence because you have a sky in the New York area. So raining or sun shining. You have a sky in the Bay Area. That's different. You have a sky in the, our place. It's different. So let's compare. Uh, then also uh, dependent uh, arising uh, because that's a flower I mentioned before. So there's a seed, seed put in soil and put the uh, water. They have a sun shining and so forth, then slowly change. So that's all, uh, <clears throat> but not the same. Nothing exists there. They exist everything. However, they depend on that, uh, uh, you know, like a, uh, cause and effect and the condition, so they change. So when you understand all of them, then you will see the uh, <clears throat> uh, quality of the emptiness. So you're in the, uh, <clears throat> the path of the, uh, path of the, uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Uh, path of seeing, then uh, afterwards path of meditation. So path of meditation, then uh, <clears throat> you also uh, uh, we we call that a familiarization. Once you are uh, getting used to it, then when you check that's uh, all uh, <clears throat> four five aggregates and. Uh, uh, six uh, internal senses and six external senses and six uh, uh, <coughs> cycle uh, physical basis and the 12 links of dependent origination and the four noble truths and all of them not exist there. So once you really learn them, so you are already in a, uh, <coughs> uh, enlightened. So for talking about it, that's enlightened, and then, uh, <clears throat> so uh, we mentioned a little bit before, uh, we have uh, that's uh, different the process, right? So you have to uh, practice, study, learning, and the hearing, and then uh, <clears throat> you will create the uh, wisdom. That's wisdom from, that's one called the, uh, <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> wisdom from hearing. So once you have a wisdom, a uh, wisdom arising from hearing. So once you have a, that's a, uh, hearing, uh, that's a wisdom, then you develop more than the wisdom raised from the thinking, like uh, also a kind of meditation, but you're thinking, analyzing, studying, you learn more. And uh, finally, you have a wisdom generated by the medication. So the final one actually is the uh, calm abiding. So we have a, a calm abiding and a special insight. That is a very uh, <clears throat> profound uh, wisdom. So calm abiding, like uh, when you meditate, so you get in that's a shine. So that's a shine also. Uh, Come abiding, right? So the come abiding, uh, <clears throat> when when we uh, meditate, very difficult to concentrate, right? So uh, <clears throat> very difficult to concentrate. So what's the matter? Then we have a two way to practice that one, right? Meditation. One is uh, analytical meditation. One is single pointed meditation. Uh, analytical meditation. Uh, <clears throat> And you have to have a, uh, <clears throat> uh, some sort of object. 
you have to think about that one. If you have a, something you focus on that one, uh, then you slowly generate the, the calm mind, which is the meditation. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, you can say the mantras all the time, maybe. You can listen to the prayers or you can listen to the uh, nice, gentle uh, music uh, and so forth, right? So even that's a walking meditation and, uh, you know, uh, sitting and the, uh, the, all of them supposedly as uh, analytical meditation. Uh, so the idea is to train your mind to calm. Uh, once you have uh, that kind of uh, uh, progressive, then you can practice the uh, next level, which is the single-pointed meditation. Single-pointed meditation is you try to shut off your five senses. Because I, our five senses are opening and working. So uh, we get the, the information from five senses all the time. So our mind, unfortunately, is blind. You can't see. Our mind, without the five senses, your mind can't see anything. But the mind is very, very smart. Then the five senses uh, all the time give information to the mind. You can see, you can see things, you give that information to the mind right away. You hear, you give that information to your mind right away. So when your mind receives those information, then analyze. When they analyze, then keep your mind busy. Then also I said that three things are going to happen. Attachment, anger, or uh, <clears throat> ignorance. Um, no, uh, attachment, uh, hatred, and the ignorance. Those three things are my rights. Uh, because you get them and the mind is analyzing. After analyze, the result is that. So that's how to change them. That is another subject like, uh, you know, uh, hatred, you have to practice the uh, <clears throat> compassion uh, and uh, attachment. You have to uh, think about the, the, you know, impermanent <clears throat> ignorance, then you have to have a wisdom, so on. So those are uh, remedies for the, the three poisons. Uh, anyway, the mind, because in our samsara, we have uh, those uh, basically have uh, those kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> contaminated, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's uh, mind. Because of that, then get the, those information, then they change, mind will change. So single point meditation is try to shut off those five senses in temporarily. So let the mind relax. So that is the idea to try to meditate. So. Uh, <clears throat> What that's look like, uh, for instance, when you are in deep sleep, and that's kind of condition. When you sleep, your five senses automatic, automatically shut off. So that's why you can't hear. So for instance, last night here have a thunderstorm and everything. I didn't hear because I'm sleeping. So, so that's, uh, that's just kind of uh, uh, the five senses naturally uh, closed. So during the meditation, we have to close them. How? That's very difficult, right? Eyes are can close, but the ears and the smell and the touching and everything is still receiving. So that's the idea is don't uh, take responsibility, just to do a registration, they said. When you have a sound, you don't hold on it. Our problem is when you, when you hear some sound, then you always try to uh, respond to them. You have to want to do something. You know, the sound, for instance, you're sitting, uh, then better you should uh, shut off your phone and everything, right? Otherwise, the phone rings, oh, that's reminding you something. Oh, okay, oh, the message may be from somebody and somebody, so on, so Oh, then when they uh, have uh, this message, then uh, <laughs> I may have, uh, some kind of appointment or somebody's coming or then your meditation is gone. You just uh, think about that. You are taking responsibility for the sound. So in this case, you can't completely shut off, but you can create some kind of uh, uh, <coughs> environmental. 
uh, <clears throat> you know, situation like uh, no fun in the early year or a quiet place and so forth. So that's all good. Then once you have the sound, let them go. Just, oh, sound, 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 three times. Let them go. Don't hold on that. It's like uh, you, when you meditate somewhere, itching or something, then don't res take responsibility. Just uh, don't do anything for that. Uh, just say, oh, okay, itching, 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 like three times. Then your mind is slowly, still uh, strongly concentrated. So that's all slowly go away. Uh, then <clears throat> two kinds of uh, meditation uh, here, just, uh, you know, uh, because I mentioned why I mentioned that one. Uh, when you uh, <clears throat> practice those three levels of the uh, <clears throat> wisdom, the final one is to generate the uh, <clears throat> wisdom by your mind, meditation. Uh, so the result we call shine, which is the uh, <clears throat> come abiding. So once you that's a come abiding, then you really uh, close to a, uh, you know you have to in the, that's the five paths. Then you are very close to that enlightenment. So once you have a, that's a enlightenment, then uh, you will see everything. So here that the three times of Buddha all clearly completely wicked. So that's a, and during that uh, uh, wisdom, uh, <clears throat> you know, rising from the uh, meditation. Uh, <clears throat> then, uh, therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the mantra of uh, the <clears throat> uh, uh, surpassed mantra, the mantra equal to unequaled, and the mantra uh, that's a thoroughly pure, uh, pacifying all suffering should be known as true since it is not false. So uh, <clears throat> here, five mantras they mentioned. Uh, that's a five mantras refers to that's a five paths. So I, uh, mentioned before, in the Heart Sutra, some of the topics they never mentioned, but here, this is the one. So until that's mantra, uh, before the all things are the detail, the whole thing, they explained and the everything. So all of them also are five paths. When you learn that's a five paths, then you have to go through all the process to learn the details. When you already learned, then when you hear those sound, then mantra, then you will you will know. That's a kind of give you a uh, <clears throat> notice. Then you say, oh, that's just the five paths. So the first one, mantra of uh, perfection, wisdom. So which is the path of accumulation. So that's a path you have for this wisdom. You hear, you learn, and everything, you understand everything. That is the, the first one. The second one is mantra of a great knowledge. Uh, then you have a more detailed and then you learned everything. So that is the path of uh, uh, <coughs> application or path of the preparation. Uh, the third one is path of uh, the uh, unsurpassed uh, mantra. Uh, you can't compare that mantra. That mantra is very high. Why say that? Because that is uh, uh, higher than the, uh, you know, the samsara level. You already in the nirvana level. So that's why that's very high. Uh, then you have a mantra equal to unequal, which is the mantra of meditation. The path of meditation, I mean. So uh, then the last one is uh, <clears throat> the path of uh, no more to learning or path of uh, uh, <clears throat> consummation, which is Bodhisattva already in that all process. Now you just uh, uh, <clears throat> practice the uh, <clears throat> Nirvana. So uh, the through 
uh, pacifying all suffering. You just uh, uh, overcome all suffering and uh, you are in nirvana. Uh, that's uh, because of those are true, there's no faults. The mantra of uh, <coughs> perfection, of wisdom is proclaimed. So now uh, Buddha will say that's mantras. Dayata, uh, gadi gadi, baragadi, parasamgadi, bodhisoha. So that's mantra also uh, the five paths. So dayata means like uh, uh, the translation, I don't know how uh, they translate the different places have a different version. Maybe just like, uh, oh, look at something like that way. So the main mantra is started as gadi gadi. Gadi gadi, like, uh, <clears throat> like go, go, like that's go, go. Uh, the first gadi representing the path of uh, uh, accumulation. Second gadi is representing the path of uh, uh, <clears throat> preparation. Uh, Paragadi means like a, uh, go beyond. So that's one uh, represent the uh, <clears throat> um, path of seeing. Parasamgadi, uh, then familiarization, uh, path of the meditation. The bodhisattva, so that's no more to learn. You get in that bodhisattva's position, you stay there and practice and uh, help others and uh, generate your compassion. So <clears throat> those are five uh, <clears throat> paths. Shariputta, a bodhisattva, a great being, should train in the profound perfection of wisdom in that way. So long before, you remember, right? So they asked how to train this one, Shariputta. Now the Give teaching all the teaching finished and said, okay, now you should train this way. Uh, thereupon, <clears throat> the blessed one uh, <clears throat> arose from, arose from that uh, meditative concentration uh, and he uh, commanded Holy Avalokiteshvara, the great being, excellent, he said, excellent, excellent noble child, uh, it is just so, noble child, it is just so. One should uh, practice the <coughs> profound perfection of wisdom in the uh, manner that uh, you have uh, revealed. Uh, the data goddess rejoiced. So Buddha said, oh, good, good, you did a good job, you wonderful, okay. So your uh, noble child or wherever your practitioner. So you said that's that's true, that's all like that. Then uh, in this way, you can uh, practice this perfection of wisdom. Uh, then uh, all, uh, you just mentioned all of them. So the all Tathagata means like all Buddhas rejoiced. We, uh, we agree, rejoice. Uh, <clears throat> that is what the blessed one said. So Buddha said this way. So the lastly, uh, <clears throat> thereupon the <clears throat> venerable Shariputta, uh, the holy Avalokiteshvara, the <clears throat> Bodhisattva, the great being, and that's the entire assembly along with the world gods, world gods like uh, in Tibetan called Tha, Tha means like the heavenly beings there too. Uh, humans, human beings there, and uh, uh, <coughs> asuras, asura like uh, uh, the demigods, like uh, half and half, not really in the heavenly being, but not a human being inside, somewhere there, between there. So, <coughs> uh, Gandhi Harba, Gandhi Harba uh, said some in, uh, invisible, so uh, Buddhist idea is the all sentient being, uh, <clears throat> they are in the six realms. So one of them as, a, uh, that's a, you know, generally like a two categories, uh, visible, uh, 
they have a body visible or invisible. So those are invisible. You can't see the body. They just uh, uh, eating some kind of uh, uh, like uh, smells or something like a flower, like that. So, so uh, <clears throat> those are one of the bins. Uh, all rejoiced and highly uh, praised what's the last one he said. So those are uh, <clears throat> the Heart Sutra. So when you <clears throat> uh, review, so Buddha's teaching uh, <clears throat> have three uh, kind of Buddha's teachings, three types of Buddha's teachings we have. Uh, when I say that's a ganjur, uh, I saw this all the time. So <clears throat> sometime uh, the Buddha directly said something. Sometime Buddha said nothing. Just the uh, disciples and the you know the Ramjur and the uh, you know the <clears throat> uh, Sharipu Mongajibu and uh, lots of different disciples. They having a conversation. They have a dialogue. So those are uh, those are uh, <clears throat> one. Then also sometime uh, you know long conversation. After long conversation, Buddha just to give a kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> you know that's uh, rejoice, just like that. So, you know, like uh, um, <clears throat> the uh, approved by Buddha, something like that. Then. Uh, <clears throat> Mostly all of them from the, his uh, spoken words, his own words. So uh, then Buddha's three types of Buddha's teaching, the Buddha's teaching uh, <clears throat> through his inspiration, that's just one. Buddha's teaching through his spoken words. Buddha's teaching through his approved uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 <clears throat> pronouncement. So those are three types of uh, Buddha's uh, teachings. So in the Heart Sutra, they said that we have uh, three of them, all three of them. Uh, very beginning, uh, <clears throat> somewhere they said that's right. So uh, when they had that uh, conversation, thereupon, uh, through the Buddha's inspiration, the Venerable Shariputra spoke to Holy Avalokiteshvara, and so on. So, that's that is the teaching uh, for his inspiration. So he didn't say anything, but he is doing meditation because of his that uh, energy or that inspiration. Then they will have a conversation. When we, uh, when I read that heart, uh, the the Ganjur, uh, the Buddha's teaching, also have this feeling. Some of them already did. They taught before, so that's why the uh, disciples are they kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> repeating them or making sure is this right? Something like that. Something like that's the kind of a question form or just uh, repeating. Uh, then finally, Buddha will say, "Oh yes, yes, excellent, excellent," like that's right. Uh, <clears throat> did you know? Did you know? Not really. Excellent, but they said yes, yes, just like this, just like that. They said that. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, here. Then also uh, the lots of conversations uh, from the Shariputta and the Avalokiteshvara. That's all uh, Buddha's teachings uh, through his, uh, <clears throat> you know, approved uh, pronouncement. Pronouncement. So then the final one. Here they said, uh, <clears throat> excellent, he said, excellent, excellent, noble child, it is just so, noble child, it is just so. One should practice the profound perfection of the wisdom in, uh, in the manner that uh, you have revealed. The Datagadas rejoiced. That is the, uh, <clears throat> uh, his own words. So uh, <clears throat> teaching through his uh, <clears throat> spoken words. So those uh, 
three uh, <clears throat> kind of Buddha's teaching. Uh, even that Heart Sutra is very short, but they have that one. So uh, now the Heart Sutra uh, <clears throat> mentioned the, the five paths. That's very important. We should know. Uh, then, <coughs> excuse me. So Heart Sutra also mentioned that Bodhisattva. So Bodhisattva based on the compassion. So, but in this Heart Sutra, they didn't mention compassion, but uh, you have to go through the compassion. Uh, then you have to generate the compassion first based on that compassion. Uh, when you practice, then they had uh, that's a uh, three uh, <coughs> levels I mentioned before, like, uh, you know, the two uh, <coughs> some some hearing, uh, wisdom, uh, Reason from hearing or studying. Then the second level, uh, wisdom raising from the thinking. Uh, then the third one is wisdom generated by the meditation. So during the meditation, then you will know everything. So those are little teaching for today. <clears throat> Thank you, Rinpoche. I think Lama's no. having a little computer issue right now. Okay. Uh, Here we are. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rinpoche. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. I have a request to make. I'm wondering if we can make a transcription of these teachings and send it to you uh, and for your approval. And, and then we can study further again. Oh, that's, that's fine, no problem. Okay. That's no problem. Then, uh, uh, you know, I'm like, uh, you know, telling the truth. So uh, the last time, uh, who, who is your assistant? I've forgotten his name. Connor, yeah. Yeah, Connor. Connor asked, can we put in uh, YouTube or not? So that definitely can put, you know, nothing, uh, special, but uh, I'm just worried my language and everything's not really uh, uh, <laughs> good enough. So maybe I don't know. <laughs> it's really good, Ravishe, actually. Very, it's very fine. Very, uh, it's easy to understand, and your pronunciation is very good. So uh, if that's you something so helpful, then please you decide and you can put it. So yeah, you can send me that one, then mm -hmm. I can. Uh, <clears throat> If uh, finalized, then we can put it. Yes. We can. We'll we'll make a booklet from it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Move it now. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. There. <laughs>